Chapter 14 Drop of Water Pave the way Make every drop of water count No water, no life Water is the most precious gift of nature It is necessary for life It covers about 75% of the surface of the earth Therefore, the earth is also called the blue planet out of 75% fresh water is just about 2.7% of the total water. Only this fresh water is meant for human consumption. Hence, there is an urgent need to protect our drinking water sources from pollution and also to conserve water in our daily lives. Look at some simple steps to save water. Fix all leaky taps. Take shorter shower. Use a bucket for car wash. Water plants with water can. Turn off tap while brushing. Wash full loads of clothes. Let's begin. Every drop of water is essential for all living beings. We need water to grow food, generate electricity, control fire and to drink etc. Let's read some of the uses of water. Water in agriculture. In the olden times, farmers totally depend on rain as a source of water for their production. They used to draw water with a given means. Persian wheel. In a Persian wheel, a wheel attached with buckets is allowed to be submerged in the water. As the wheel is turned using a block, the buckets rotate bringing water to the trough, which carry water to the field. Denkli It is also called Pekotaha or Shaduf. It is hand-operated device used for lifting water. In a Denkli, a pole is unevenly mounted as a seesaw with one end having a bucket and the other having a counterweight, which helps to lift up the bucket up. The water is drawn by pushing down the bucket into the water and filled bucket gets lifted up by the counterweight. This was invented in ancient times and is still used in India, Egypt and some other countries to irrigate land. But today, we have a large network of irrigation comprising rivers, canals, ponds, etc. Besides this, farmers use some other means to irrigate their fields as the need of water is different for different crops. For instance, the standard cross crop grown in a semi-arid climate with a mean temperature of 20 degrees Celsius needs approximately 6.5 mm of water per day. The same grass crop grown in a sub-humid climate with a mean temperature of 30 degrees Celsius needs 75 mm of water per day. In order to use groundwater for irrigation, water must be lifted to ground level for the fields to be watered. Nowadays, this is done with the help of tube wells. Tube wells are actually pumps which help to pull groundwater. However, in the olden days, when such modern pumps were unavailable, animals or humans had to draw water from the ground. Water in industry Water is the lifeblood of the industry. It is used as a raw material, coolant, a solvent a transport agent and as a source of energy. Worldwide, the industry accounts for 19% of total consumption. In industrialized countries, industries use more than half of the water available for human use. Water in domestic life In domestic life, water is used for drinking, cleaning, personal hygiene, gardening, cooking, washing of clothes, dishes, vehicles, etc. You must know, water is also used to generate electricity. Electricity which is produced through water 
is known as hydropower today the leading hydropower generating countries are china us brazil canada india and russia it is a well known fact that water is extensively used in the above set purposes this results in scarcity ground water is the major source of water in many parts of the world but this has been continuous depleting due to over exploitation by rising human population and the rapid rise in industrialization and urbanization diseases spread from stagnation of water water proves to be dangerous also you would have surely seen stagnant water around your locality or house in this water you can see tiny insects they are mosquitoes the stagnant water is their breeding place a mosquito is an insect that spreads some of the worst diseases like malaria dengue encephalitis filariasis and yellow fever must try when a substance such as sugar is mixed in water it becomes invisible to the naked eyes while a substance such as sand is visible as it does not mix with it and layers down in the glass find out the concept behind it also understand what is soluble and what is insoluble